Hey y'all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Wilmington, North Carolina. And even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Cape Fear Serpentarium. Now, Cape Fear is a cool name, Serpentarium It's a very cool name. I don't know what's in there, maybe just a bunch of snakes, but we're going to check it out. Follow me. We don't start with snakes, but rather vicious lion. And over here is a leopard or cheetah, I'm not sure which one, but he's killed a baboon. I don't feel that bad for baboons because they kidnap babies. It's a black throat monitor lizard. What are you monitoring, buddy? Your blood pressure? Look, they got some snake anti-venom anti right there. I heard the story of this guy who wanted to make himself immune to snakes, so he slowly took venom over the course of his life, and he became immune to snakes. And it turned out that they would actually take his blood and ship it around the country. If there was a, like a rare snake bite, they would contact him and get his blood, ship it as fast as they could across the country in order to get it to the people so that his blood could cure them. That's pretty cool. That's like X-Men level of awesomeness. There's some snakes in jars. They put two in that one. It's a little crowded. The snake head. Yeah, they got tons of snake jars along with this big giant snake here in this glass box. Oh yeah, look. Holy mother. Look at the size of that snake. Can you see his face there? He is a big snake. Doesn't seem very interested in me, but he could definitely kill me. Look at it. Just look how beefy the snake parts are. This is Daisy. It's a Nile crocodile. Very cheerful. Look at that happy face. Look at that half, half, happy face. Look at those dead cat eyes. It's a beautiful, beautiful animal though. Oh, there's actually supposed to be a king cobra in here. Oh, there he is. He doesn't have his little wings up. Maybe they only do that when they're mad. Maybe if I pound on the glass, he'll. He'll shoot him up for me. Come on, Cobra. That is a big, dangerous snake. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You're a big boy. You're a big, dangerous boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at him. Look at his little tongue. What are you doing there? Man, I would not want to be strangled by him. Here's an eastern rattlesnake. They actually have these in North Carolina. That is terrifying. Ugh. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Snakes, 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 snakes. Seriously, Indiana Jones would pee his pants in here. You like this bright yellow one? That's really pretty. Holy crud. That is one of the biggest iguanas. I have ever seen. Why is he sticking his tongue out? Guess maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's just drooling while he sleeps. How are you doing, Gavin Viper? I bet you're poison. I bet you'd like to kill me. Oh, he's got such kind eyes. There's a 
massive snapping turtle. I used to have a pet snapping turtle when I was a kid. He was only that big. He was really tiny and he ate hamburger meat. This guy's a beast. I've actually seen them. They have one at the uh, Shedd Aquarium in Chicago that's like 600 pounds or something. Look down here, they have all these snake grabbing devices. What are you doing? Mr. Reticulated Python. Trying to come through that glass? You want to strangle me? Yeah, you think you're tough, don't you? With your black eyes. Dead. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Snakes. Terrifying, but lazy. Central American Bushmaster. Apparently, he's crazy poison. One thing I could say is the enclosures here are really cool, really well designed, appealing to the human eye. And I bet the snakes like it too. Gotta love these intensely gory snake bite photos. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, oh no. As I've said before, snakes are even scarier without their skin. They have a skull-based rating system on how dangerous snakes are. You have five skulls. Yeah, just forget it. You're gone. Let's find a five-skull snake and taunt him. Okay, here we have Barbara Amarilla, the Central and South American snake. He is a five-skull snake, meaning if he bites you, you are unlikely to survive. So why don't you come and bite me, you coward. Oh, you grumpy? You angry because you're in a cage? Well, guess what? You'll never, ever bite me. And you'll never have legs, because I have legs, and I can run away from you. I have hands. I can, I can give you the finger, and you still can't bite me, because you're a total wuss of a snake who doesn't frighten me at all. All right, this is Chomp, the alligator snapping turtle. And he is a certified Beast. Look at him. Wow. Right, the director just informed me he was going to feed a couple of the animals. This may be graphic, so put the children to bed. You're hungry, buddy? Now, what we have here, guys, this is an African black throat monitor. He belongs to the Varani species. They said they're going to let this black throat monitor litter loose on the floor. Come on, Come on, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, I do. Rats and what he really loves is turkey. So, oh, he's gonna need a turkey neck. And notice the big claws on this guy. Them claws are designed for tearing open like termite mounds and digging because they will actually scavenge. They'll eat other things that live in a termite mound. This snake can kill and eat a cobra. He will actually consume a venomous snake with his tough skin being able to resist the bite of a cobra. He's actually kind of immune to cobra bites. They get bitten by venomous snakes all the time. But they kind of affect him for a little it's bit. Friendly. They ease like off. A dog. So this guy is an actual dinosaur standing in front of you. See that hole right there? That's his ear. His ear is there. Unlike snakes that have no external ears and Got a full you're large snakes, you're large boys, and you're backwards like fish hooks. They're designed for hanging on to things. These snakes, they're not venomous. They don't have that talent. They kill with root force. They kill with constriction. So... Remember I was telling you about the constriction, the process? It's got a rat. Constriction. Yeah. Sir, you want to back up a little bit yes. so the children can see? Absolutely. Now, as I'm tugging on this little guinea pig, she's got a coil around this, and every time I tug on it, she tightens up a coil, okay? Because she believes she's killing it. We feed all our animals frozen thawed. We don't like to feed them live animals. It's, but we got to trick them. 
They need to think that this animal is alive that they're killing. It's good for their psyche. Consumption. All right, so absolutely incredible snake and reptile exhibit. One of the best I've ever seen here at Cape Fear Serpentarium. Appreciate you guys joining me. If uh, you want to see other places I've been, please check in the description where I have an interactive map. If you'd like to support this channel, I sell t-shirts down below as well as I have a Patreon where uh, if you donate at least $3 a month, I will send you postcards. This one's in the bag of snakes.